Hello, Gemini. How are you doing, loves? Thank you for joining Just Smile Tarot. Um, it's going to be Gemini, Sun, and Rising, and Venus. So, if you have a Gemini, basically anywhere in your chart, you may get a message from here. If you do not, don't worry. Check your other placements, and you just might have messages there. Okay? It's that easy. Alright, let's get down to it, you guys. I'll do an oracle for you really quick, okay? Let's see what we got for you. And then the everyday tarot will be our clarifiers for the regular tarot deck, okay? Whichever I decide to use. I'm so... I never know what I want to use. I was just like... One minute I'm like, yeah, I want to use that one. The next one I'm like, nah. <laughs> I think it's my spirit, guys. Yeah, it's right there. It's like the one just move and make up your mind. All right, so this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Lord, Heavenly Father, angels, universe, please bless Gemini and protect them. Please give them the most forward and protected messages possible for their future, for their journey, that they may need clarity. Please protect them anywhere they may go and commit, help them commit to their higher selves. Amen. So let's go ahead and go on here. We have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm sorry, guys. This is bugging me over here. I should have put. I'm so ghetto. I had it all sitting there. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Imagine. At the bottom of the deck, we have flexible. Okay. Gemini, so what are you manifesting? Is there something that you're manifesting? Mm -hmm. Imagine. It seems like you're manifesting something. New love. Golly, that would be so nice if we have some new love on the board, man. You guys, I swear, like every sign I've been doing, it's about an ex trying to come back into someone's life after they like, screwed up and seen them with someone else. Gemini, let's hope that this is not what's going on for you. Maybe you got some new love coming. Maybe you're manifesting things and people are trying to stop you, but whatever it is, Gemini, you can do it, okay? Make sure you keep that faith. Make sure you keep doing your affirmations every day. If you don't do them, do them. Do affirmations every day. Look in the mirror and say at least two things good about yourself, okay? Do not cause it, focus on no pimple on your face or nothing like that. No, that's not helping. That's not going to help your manifestations come in. The more you feel better about yourself, the more easier it is to manifest, okay? Two good things you love about yourself, Gemini. I know you can find something. I know, because you guys are beautiful beings. Imagine it. <laughs> Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. You guys are manifesting. You got imagine and imagination. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I mean, not crazy, but that's amazing. I'm trying to keep the blur off, you guys. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, spirit. Okay. You know, let me just get another oracle here and see what it says. This is beautiful. So you're manifesting something, guys. Or if, 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 if you're not manifesting, you need to be. <laughs> you guys have some beautiful energy right here from the jump, from the date, okay? This is really nice and refreshing. Okay. Self-employment. You were born an entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So some of you might be um, um, own your own business or trying to own your own business or wanting to manifest having your own business. You know what I mean? All the stuff going on in the world, you know, it ain't, been, it ain't been easy for people. I'm telling you, it's not been easy. The bottom of the deck, 
have faith. Your prayers and your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. That's beautiful, you guys. Gemini, what are you guys doing? Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't even want to get out of Otero. I'm just afraid I'm gonna see some Seven of Swords or something. Okay, you know what? Spirit saying, Lauren, don't don't worry about all that. Just get the just get out the tarot. So that's what I'm gonna do. What do we have for Gemini? Sun and rising Venus. I think you're manifesting something. And you're having, you're not really you're keeping kind of silent about this. You're not telling many people about it. Because Gemini, I think you do not want to hear anybody's judgments or what they think you should do or how they think you should do it. Some of you are are manifesting a job. Uh, self-employment, doing your own thing, starting your own business, you know, and at this time, you guys, what's going on in the world, I mean, for real, honestly, you might have some really good luck, really good blessings, actually, um, do self, being self-employed, for real, I mean, I see so many people doing so many things, like, new stuff I didn't think existed, exists, you know what I'm saying, let's see what we got here for Gemini, Sun and Rising and Venus, what do we got for Gemini, Sun, and Rising, and Venus. First card out, we got the Page of Wands in the reverse. Okay, the Page of Wands in reverse. Um, I see this as like a message being blocked, okay? That's just basically me. Um, up where it's like someone wanting to send a message, an exciting message, but I see something being blocked here, okay? Whether that's you, Gemini, sending a message to someone else, or whether that's someone trying to send a message to you. Got the Ten of Cups, okay? Ten of Cups here, right next to uh, the Page of Wands in the reverse. And then we got the Page of Swords. So there's like a lot of page here. There's a lot of pages here. There's a message being blocked from somebody, Gemini, towards you, okay? Um, this person... They're... they're, they're <laughs> Someone could be manifesting you, a life with you, Okay? But someone here is very nervous, all right? Someone's very nervous about contacting you. This page of wands in the reverse, just... But then the page of cups in the middle, and it's in the, it's in the upright. And then we got the page of swords. So somebody's like kind of like checking in. Look at this. Then we got the lovers here. Yeah, let me, let me move this out because that's beautiful. Then we got the lovers. Let's see what we got else here besides after the page of swords. Someone here... Someone here is um is trying to manifest you back. No, it's, it's like somebody wants to have Ten of Cups with you, but I don't know. They're just not the Hierophant and the Reverse. You could be dealing with the Taurus. Taurus, you could be dealing with the Gemini as yourself. The Lovers is here, or that's just your energy showing up, Gemini. But the Page of Swords. It's like someone's spying. Someone's watching and trying to gather information from a family situation. In a family situation. It's like someone's trying to gather some information. The higher fit in the reverse. They might not have that many good intentions. Let me see. Let me see what's after the, the higher fit. King of Cups. So you got a King of Cups that's trying to, um, hmm. That might be trying to get in touch with you. But there's a message being blocked here. Yeah, we got judgment right here at the bottom of the deck. We got judgment and then the five of cups. Yeah, someone wants to come out of the cold with you, but I'm getting here that um you're manifesting something else. You got you got something else going on here, Gemini. I mean, I someone trying to contact you right now, I believe is very immature, okay? They're non-committal, but you have somebody else. You have a choice between two people. You're trying to manifest some new love into your life, okay? And let me tell you, Gemini, this is not far-fetched, okay? This is not far away, all right? You're trying to manifest the Ten of Cups, happiness. Here we got a knight, okay? We got a knight right here, right after the Page of Cups. And then we got, I mean, the King of Cups. And then we got the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, you don't want a new beginning with someone that is as much of a, like, a... They like to finesse, okay? They like to offer their cup to many people, but and I, that's why I said there's someone immature here because I got a lot. We got two pages, okay? We got the lovers, and we got the king of cups right here. Someone that's non-committal or that that failed to commit to you, 
is watching you and they're spying and they're trying to gather information. You might be with someone else, okay? You're with someone right now, Gemini, okay? Maybe not all of you, but most of you or some of you are with someone right now, okay? Someone that makes you happy. Someone that is your Ten of Cups, okay? But someone's trying to, in someone's not trying to intrude. They're trying to send a message, but it's being blocked, okay? It's being blocked. And while that's being blocked and you're being happy doing your own thing, someone's watching. Someone's watching and this person's non-committal. Whoever this person is, could have been a past person that just didn't want to commit to you, somebody that didn't want to get married or whatever or whatnot, but it's like now they're changing their mind. King of Cups. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like this person does have love for you. And you have, you're manifesting a true soul connection, okay? This is you, Gemini. This is your card anyway. Um, you're manifesting something. Look how this lovers was right at the top. So the non-commitment, the, the non-committal, and then the, the king of cups. Look, it was like this on my table. That's like a choice between two people. That's what I'm getting. I think you have to decide on who you're going to go with. I think because somebody here, you're not wanting to have a new, a brand new beginning with someone here. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is, but I feel like it's someone that's immature. And they're spying on you. You're trying to manifest your Ten of Cups, uh, Gemini. And someone doesn't want you to have that. Yeah, someone here feels like uh, it's not fair. You know, justice is not in their favor. You having this love that's coming in for you. You know, because you're not wanting to, you're not wanting to entertain them. Do you see what I'm saying? So for Gemini's that I'm speaking with, I may not be speaking with every single Gemini. Somebody's a little upset. They feel like they're left out. They feel like justice isn't there. Yeah. They're not doing very good financially. Okay. But you're going to have victory regardless, Gemini. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. You're trying to manifest. Okay. Keep doing it. Whether you're trying to manifest a new home, a car, um, shit, even a swimming pool in your backyard, keep manifesting, okay? Whatever you are doing, it is going to be in your favor. It is going to go the way you want it to go, okay? Somebody here, though, is trying to come back around while you're trying to manifest something new. You've been manifesting, Gemini, but I think that this is something completely brand new. And someone's trying to come in and sabotage. They're spying. They feel like it's unfair. You know, you might have, you might be victorious with someone else, and they ain't liking it. Yeah, they ain't liking it. The moon. This was clarifying the um, the page of swords. Ow, sorry guys. Oh, this felt sharp pain. Yeah, somebody. Uh, I mean, this is for the page of swords. Yeah, see, some, this is, you're not knowing this, Gemini. You don't know this, but, I mean, think about it, Gems. Have you guys had anybody that you've recently broken up with? Maybe even two years ago. I'm getting more like four. Two, four years ago, a year ago, six months ago. I mean, you would think this person's already over you, but they're not. Someone's trying, someone's watching you, okay? Someone's watching you, and I don't think, and I don't think you're gonna, I don't think you're really gonna, this person's not doing very good uh, financially right now. And I'm not saying that they're coming to you for money. I mean, it's going to be different for everybody. But this person here um, that's watching you is very immature. I just get that they're immature as hell. Um, they're very emotional. They have a lot of emotion. Let me see the lovers. What's the lovers card? Look at the bottom of the deck right now. We've got the seven of swords. Yeah, sometimes want to come in and just sabotage what you got going. They kind of see you trying to get... To where you want to get to your 10 somebody knows you're manifesting keep your manifestations to yourself until they manifest okay don't tell nobody anything because they'll do whatever they can to sabotage you we got the sun in reverse yeah because someone's unhappy someone here gemini is unhappy that's why they're sparking and they're spying on you okay that's why we got this page of wands in the reverse someone wants to send a message but it's being blocked eight of swords yeah somebody's up in their head and they're unhappy they're unhappy about what you're manifesting. They might see bits and pieces of it, but this person that's spying on you and collecting knowledge and stuff, you don't know about this. This is unseen to you. You're not seeing this. 
of course, when someone's spying, you don't see it. But this is like, um, I'm getting real stalker vibes here. And then the Hierophant in the reverse right after, this person didn't want to commit before. So what they doing now? Let's get a, let me get a, what, what is this moon card here on the page of Sword of Spirit? Oh no, what is this Hierophant in the reverse? What is this Hierophant in the reverse, Spirit? What is this Hierophant in the reverse? Let me get one for the Hierophant in the reverse, please. Ten of Wands. Yeah, this was a burden to you. Somebody that didn't want to commit, it was a burden to you. And you're putting this burden down. That's why this person's like spying. They were non-committal. You know, you wanted the Ten of Cups with this person, Gemini. But they was playing. Look at the Three of Swords at the bottom. That's what I'm saying. Like, look, somebody just... Somebody, somebody here just, um, somebody here was just so damn unfaithful. It was ridiculous. And you have so much love for this person. You really thought that they had a lot of love for you. I believe that they did. I, I believe that they did love you, Gemini, but they just, they're not on the same page as you. We got the cherry and the nine of wands. Yeah, you're moving from this shit. You're moving away from it. Look at how that nine of wands is staring at the chariot. Like, come, stay here. No, I'm going. That's what that looks like, Gemini. Because someone here is unhappy. They're all up in their head. They're unhappy. They're feeling burdened. This person burdened you, and they're watching you. You don't even know it, uh, Gemini. They're keeping a close eye on you, close tabs, and I don't know why. I think this person's trying to come back around, but you're trying to move forward. You're trying to do something different, but you're going to victorious. You're going to be victorious no matter how unjust this person may think this is to them, okay? You don't want no new beginning with this person, whoever this is. You may, Gemini, you may just know who I'm talking about. Yeah, you're no longer losing sleep and stuff over this person. Whoever this is, you were losing sleep over them. You were sad. Yeah, they, they feel, they feeling, they feeling left out. They feeling, uh... Uh, a little uh, less confident about themselves. Their self-esteem has dropped. Their ego, too. I don't know why I just heard ego. Big ego. Uh, dang, that was quick. I wasn't expecting to see the Ten of Cups here. What is this Ten of Cups spirit? I think you got the Ten of Cups coming and someone's sensing that. Someone's sensing that you're happy with someone else or you're about to be. And they are like, they are spying and you're not knowing about this. The only thing I don't like about the moon card beyond the page of swords is that I hope that nobody's uh, messing with no type of, uh, with no type of, um, this person needs to be truthful with you. That's what they're needing to do. I was about to say something else about this moon card on top of the page of swords, but someone needs to let something out because it's burning them. But they were non committal to you. That's what I'm getting here. They were not commit they, they were non committal, but they would tell you all the time, yes, I want to commit. I want to commit. And they was lying their ass off. Look, yep, they in the two they in the two of swords. And then this is what they had you in. This is what they had you in was the two of swords. Yep, we got the devil and then we got the fool. See, this person is very, very obsessed with you right now. They're, they're all up in their head. We see, guys, look. On the page of wands in the reverse, we got the sun in the reverse, and we got the eight of swords in the upright, okay? And then here we got the two swords, the devil, and the fool. Somebody's, like, really, really, really obsessed with starting a new beginning with you. They truly want to start something completely new. They want to be a fool ass and jump right into devilish activities, too. I ain't lying. I don't know where I got. I don't know where I got that from. But this person wants to just jump right onto you. They want you to be bound to them. Okay, whoever this is, they don't like the fact that you're moving on. You're moving forward. That's why I said you're gonna have a choice between two people. You're gonna meet somebody new, Gemini, and you got somebody from the past that's coming around you because you've been manifesting something. We got two imagine cards here. Imagine, and then we have imagination. Self-employment is for some of you, not all. But then we have the lovers. I put the lovers up there next to that. Then right underneath it, we have the higher fit in the reverse with the ten of wands on top of it. This is a burden to this person. This person was a burden to you. You're putting this burden down. I don't think this person's putting the burden down. I think that they're sitting here obsessively watching what you're doing. They're unhappy. They're in their head. And they want you to be bound to them. That's what I believe it is. I think this person wants you to be stuck with them only and only them. And this person... um. 
but she's gonna be victorious and this person's like they're not doing very well financially so i don't know who that could be for okay it may not be for everybody but their 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 self-esteem is, is taking a shot their ego has taken a big shot and then you don't this person is this person wants to come in and finesse you but i don't think gemini that you're having it i think this person's more this person's tried sometimes to get your attention and i think you've been ignoring i think you've been ignoring this person I think you've been ignoring everything that they're doing. They're trying to get your attention in some way, somehow. Look, we got the two of pentacles right here in the uh, the the page of pentacles and then two of pentacles. Page of pentacles in the reverse and the two of pentacles in the upright. There are three pages here, two in the reverse and one in the upright. You got somebody here that is very childish and they can never make up their mind. They're so unbalanced, it's ridiculous. They're so unbalanced, it's ridiculous. Yeah. They don't like using their intuition. They don't like connecting with their guides. And they're sneaky. They're sneaky. I don't know why I get this. When this is in the reverse and then the moon is out too. I don't know why. When I get the moon and the high priestess in the reverse, I just don't think it's a good combination. That's me, okay? Doesn't mean that's every reader. That's just me. But this is in the reverse. Someone's Don't use your intuition on this situation when this person comes back. Because we got the devil and look at the fool. Look how the fool's going towards the devil. Do you see that? Going towards the card of the devil. Where those two people are bound to the devil. Somebody here is obsessed with you. And you're not losing sleep over this person anymore. But now that you're not, you know, wanting to be passionate and send, you know, passionate messages or whatnot to this person. They're having a hard time with that. It's making them unhappy. Yep, and it's making them st stick in their head. Okay. You're going to have victory, though. You are, because you're manifesting. Someone in the... Yeah, someone's... Someone's... Someone's stuck, yo. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're doing good, Gemini. Let's see. Look, what is this Ten of Cups, Spirit? What's this Ten of Cups? What's this Ten of Cups here? Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone that's going to give and take. You might be inside a situation right now... Uh, Gemini, where someone, you and another person are basically happy, you know, you may have two kids together, you may be same sex, may not be, doesn't have to be, you don't have to have any kids together at all, but this to me feels like you're in a connection where, or you're about to be in a connection where things are solid. I don't see that, I don't have a feeling right now that someone's given to two with the Ten of Cups, I don't feel that. I feel that this is something that you've been manifesting and someone's watching and you're not very aware of this. Someone someone wants you to be bound to them, Gemini. Okay. They 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 do not want you. And then this 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 page of pentacles, we got the page, page twice. I see the when I see the pentacles, the pages in reverse, I see that as a liar. That's why I'm just I'm sorry. I see it as a liar and very immature communication. And right now, this is a pinnacle. Normally, in the upright, this is like an offer. This is an apology. This person's coming with some fake-ass bullshit. That's what I see, Gemini. The Geminis I'm speaking for, this message may not resonate with every single one of you. So, please be careful how you take it. But the Geminis I'm speaking for, there's somebody here very immature. They got the page of wands in the reverse. We got the page of pentacles in the reverse. But yet, we got the page of swords in the upright. This person knows how to spy, but they don't know how to be truthful. And they don't know how to... They, they're, they're not very good with their passionate messages. They just want to keep you stuck with them. They're unhappy with what they're doing. Wherever they're at. Whatever you're doing, they're unhappy with it. Because it's not including them. Yeah, you're working on something. You're manifesting. You're manifesting, yeah. And there's an ending. You closed something out. You've ended something with someone. The Empress. Yep, because you've seen your worth. You know your worth. And this person didn't see it. But oh, F and well. Ace of Pentacles. Look, see? A brand new beginning. But it's not what I just have a feeling. It's not with this little page here. It ain't with this page. It's with someone completely different. And somebody's seeing that. Somebody's seeing you get your, get, you know, get your, you getting. Let's see what someone may need to say to you. Gosh. How to situate that better than that. Oh, y'all, my desk is a mess over here. Well, it's not really a mess. It's just some things. Let's see what someone needs to say to you really quickly here. What they're not saying. Because someone's really, really spying on you, Gemini. They're, <laughs> they're spying on you. And you know what, Gemini? You know, I have a feeling that this person is... Um,
they're really, really sad without you. I think that this person really screwed up. This person is like now starting to kind of see, you know, just how much you gave to them. They're starting to see this. The same, the same brand new to you, but you, but they see, they see it as it being brand new. Like they're starting to just, because they're spying, they probably saw something. It's not enough for me. I want more. It's not enough for me. I want more. Yeah, your person, uh, that's you, Gemini, I believe. Whoever this I'm speaking for that's moving on to someone that is on the same level that they want to be on and things like that, having a brand new beginning, I believe that's you saying, it's not enough for me. I want more. Somebody here wanted to offer you something, but it wasn't, it wasn't good enough for you. It wasn't good enough for you. You want a solid commitment. You want somebody that's going to be, what's going to, somebody that's going to be around for you. Not no, could be dealing with the Sagittarius, okay? Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Can't see that. Yeah, there it is. Scorpio. Okay. The ex is stalking you. Look at that. I told y'all. I said somebody that's immature is watching you and you don't really know of this, okay? You think this person's over you, Gemini? No, they're not. No, they're not. I'm seeing it all over this book. I'm seeing it all over here. And this is this could be you, the King of Cups. You're mature, okay? You're mature. You're very mature and you're solid. You're, you're, you're maturing your emotions. You're not all over the place emotional, but this person got the page of wands in the reverse. Clarifying that is the sun in the reverse and then the eight of swords. Then we got the devil with the fool card and then the two of swords. Twin flame. Is this your twin flame? If you believe in that, Gemini, not everybody does believe in twin flames. But if this is, this could be, I don't, I don't, I miss our talks over the phone. Yeah, somebody's missing you and they're spying on everything you're doing. Keep your manifestations to yourself. I said that. I have addictions I'm not proud of. Yeah, addicted to stalking. Yeah, <laughs> they addicted to you. They are. Somebody here is just like, they don't they don't want to act right, but they're addicted. They don't want you to move forward. To me, that's just so selfish. You're dealing with someone that's immature, Gemini. I'm sorry to say, you guys. You may have loved this person at one point. Remember we saw that three of swords at the bottom of the deck, at the bottom of the clarifier? Yeah, someone here um, broke your heart, okay? And now they're missing you. They want you back, but they are watching you. They're watching you and they're obsessed. They want to keep you bound to them. Like you might've been all over this person's nutsack. And now all of a sudden you're just like, no. <laughs> like you're, you're actually manifesting something new and it's not a brand new beginning passionately with this person. They think they're going to come in with some roses and shit and then it's, it's just going to go, it's going to go, it's not going to go the way they want it to. Me and my emotions are stuck. Yeah, I told you that. I told you a message is being blocked here, didn't I, Gemini? And then to clarify that, we have the sun in the reverse and then the eight of swords. My emotions are stuck. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be bothered. I think that's you, Gemini. You don't want to be bothered by this person. That's why they're stalking and they're quiet. Because this person was a burden to you. They were non-committal and they didn't want they, they didn't want to have, you know, they weren't they didn't want to have the tradition. They weren't traditional like you. Okay? They they didn't they didn't want the the you know the ten of cups. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want that. They kind of want to just be all over the place, play around. It gets better, trust. Yeah, Gemini, it's gonna get better. Because I see you over here manifesting. I see that's what you're doing. Now remember these roles can be reversed, okay? Please remember that. I envy how strong and beautiful you are, yeah. Yeah, Gems, you guys have been doing some work. You have. That's why I said, like, you at one point was staying up, stressed out all night. It's not a swords in the reverse. You used to be so stressed out about this person or whatever was going on in your life. Love is better than war. Yeah, don't, 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 don't stoop to nobody's level, Gemini. Okay, if they come at you in a, in a, in a very immature manner. Because you're dealing with someone that's immature and you actually being mature towards the immature towards them. You're playing into their hand. This person wants a reaction out of you without having to do anything. You see what I'm saying? But that's not really working in their favor. So you're manifesting better things and they can kind of sense that because they can feel your energy being pulled away from them. So here they come with these games. You know, not fair. My money's not looking right. I'm not secure. You know, I want to take you on a date, but you don't want to have no passionate sex afterwards. And... Because you know where it gets you every time. You and this person end up, 
you know, coming together and then y'all end up in this, in this, in this type of energy, you know, and this person has to feel like this, this time, Gemini, it's time, it's time, let these, let, let this person, let this person keep doing what they want, let them, let them do it somewhere else, okay, I can't tell you what to do, Gemini, I understand, but I'm just telling you what I'm seeing here, somebody immature is watching you, you may know and you may not know, but let me tell you, this person is, 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 is missing, they're, they're, their emotions are stuck. They're stuck. That's what's going on here. And so they feel like being around you is going to help them become unstuck. Like it's going to come and you're going to be their savior. No. No, Gemini. You, you've already been there and done that, okay? You've already been there and done that. And where did that get you? Always coming in and saving this person from their from their grief. The Nine of Wands. A wounded warrior. That's where it got you. This person don't like to tell the truth. They don't. They don't like to bring in those solid offers. And when they come, they make it look all pretty. Everything that glitters isn't gold. That is very true. And look, they're always in two minds of stuff. Like, oh, let me guess. Let me, you know, let me wait. No, we ain't got no time to weigh out no pounds of meat, man. I'm ready to eat now. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> like, uh, that's what I'm getting. We ain't got no time to be weighing out no pros and cons right now. We've been around each other enough to know what the pros and cons are. Are you rocking with me or are you not? If you're not, move out of my way because I'm manifesting things right here. And you ain't trying to do nothing but to keep me stuck, just like you. You want me to be stuck with you. And I'm not about to do that. That's why I said, be very mindful when this person comes around because you, you're supposed to be victorious anyways. The light's going to shine for you, Gemini. But this person feels like, and it's not fair. No, that's not fair. You know, that's what I feel. That's not fair. You know, no. Why? Why? But I think you, you didn't give me a chance to make it right, you know, and this is what this is all they really want. They just want you to walk right into a trap. That's what they want. They see you doing something better. You moving forward. Okay. You moving forward to this ace of pentacles here. Okay. The divine's handing this to you because you're manifesting and you've been so patient with this person in the past. I'm saying don't stoop to their level. Don't be mean. But this person envies how strong and beautiful that you become. That you've overcome their their um their f their fuckery and their games and their playing around and you know whatever was going on between you and this person i don't think it was good this person was non-committal they like to play a lot of games with you like they would call you one night and say we're gonna eat steak tonight and then they call the next five minutes to be like no nah, i want mcdonald's and you're like come on man you, you can't make up your mind like that that's is that real and then the next 30 minutes later they'd be calling you back saying they want shrimp like this person can't keep their head in one spot their, their head is all over the, their mind's all over the place, okay? But now just because they've seen how strong and victorious that you're going to be, don't mean they can come in here with this old bullshit. Somebody's spying on you because they're waiting for the correct moment to come in and stir some shit up. That's what that is. I don't care about it being your twin flame or not. I don't think that twin flame should be having anything to do with men, uh, with, um, if you want to be within something that's healthy for you, something that's going to make you completely happy. What makes you happy, Gemini? What will make you happy? It could even be money, but it doesn't have to be a lover. It doesn't have to be a person, but what makes you happy? Because this person is spying on you. They, 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 you already know what they're about. So you already know what they're about. You don't need any type of, you don't need any more contemplation time for that. You don't have, you don't have time for that. You need to keep manifesting, doing what you're doing. Go to sleep. When you go to sleep at night, Gemini, before you go to sleep, before you close your eyes on that pillow, because every time at least... Everyone at least has a like at least a 10 minute to 15 minute window of where they just think of things or they're thinking in their mind or they're going to sleep. You know, they got some time to just think whatever you're manifesting, dream about that. Think of let that be the last thing on your mind for you fall to sleep and allow yourself to listen to some. They got some beautiful meditation things on uh, YouTube for manifesting in your sleep and stuff. Keep doing it. Keep doing it instead. I mean, do whatever you want with this person, but I just don't. I think they're going to take you into the wrong direction. Because while you was rocking with them, they wasn't going that. They're, they're not. Y'all is on different pages. And it's hard to it's hard to sit there while one person speaks Spanish and the other speaks English. This one doesn't know anything but Spanish. This one only knows English. So how are you guys going? You guys, you can't understand each other. There'll be, there'll be no. I mean, with. We can communicate, we can sit here and we can hear each other's voices all day, but what are we actually fixing? What's it, what's getting done here? I don't have nothing against people that speak Spanish or English. What I'm stating is, is that there's two different personalities. There's two different things going on here. 
You know, you can't make that come together and make it be successful. If you don't know another language, but that language, I mean, you know, I know people have certain love languages. I get that. But there's some people that are just toxic as fuck. It's not because their love language is different. It's just because they're toxic. People like to draw nice pictures of people, you know, oh, they just have a different way of showing love. So you going out and cheating on me is the way of you showing that you love me. That's your sign of love. You falling into somebody else's lap is the way of you showing love. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. No. <laughs> no. I ain't talking about no books or nothing. That's not what people are I'm not that's not what I'm saying. I'm just stating, Gemini, that this person has um this person is They want to keep you stuck to them. I don't get why. It's kind of like, it's almost like sad. Because, and they're so immature. I don't even understand how you dealt with this person. See, surrender to the, surrender the drama. That's me breaking the deck. Surrender the drama. It says here, no matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help you resolve the issue more quickly. I have a feeling that somebody here is just drama filled. That's what I feel like. They just want to spy and, you know, come in and then see you with someone else. And they just want to come out and say something. Yeah, surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Yep, I told you, before you go to sleep at night, think about what you want to manifest, okay? And I'm so serious, you guys. Just think about it. Just think about it before you go to sleep. Just let it hit you so hard like you just be stuck in your head. Don't be thinking about what somebody said two days ago or four hours ago and how it made you feel insecure. Don't go there. You need to think positively before you go to sleep because basically whatever's on your mind before you go to sleep, that's what's going to be in your subconscious. That's what's going to be floating in your mind while you're sleeping, while you're getting that good old rest and you're snoring and you're feeling really, you know, comfortable under your covers. You got the fan going. Well, at least I'd be having the fan going. And <laughs> and you just, you know, and you're comfortable. You're in your zen. You're you're feeling good because you're sleeping. Surrender your belief in, sick, in scarcity. Yeah. Keep manifesting. I don't know why I keep saying that, you guys. I think it's so beautiful how, how spirits saying you're manifesting right now. How they're giving you this window of opportunity to just manifest whatever you want. And you can have it. It's just if you want it, that's what's going to count. And somebody around you is sniffing. They smell something on you. And it smells really good to them like a steak dinner. And they just won't. They, they're, they're trying to be nosy. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. And this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. That is absolutely beautiful, Gemini. I love y'all's reading. I really do. If it was all over the place for you, then it wasn't your message. This this is honestly for somebody that knows exactly what I'm talking about. So I appreciate you, Gemini, sticking around and being here for the message. So grateful for you guys. Please understand that. I love you. I love you. I love you. I ask that you please like, share, and subscribe for my lady. For my lady. Do that for me. And I'll see you guys later, okay? Take great care. Bye-bye.